Oh, Pave Gen. Yeah. Pave Gen. A lot of, like, it just reared its ugly head again because it was on some um, channel. What's his name? Sorry, I forget his name. Um, his, his YouTube channel actually promoted it. But it's been going for, like, eight years. Pave Gen's been going, like, maybe almost a decade. It's been going a long time. Um, and it's once again, it's one of those things that works. Hey, no problem. It's going to have a niche use. No problem. But once again, it's something that they promote. It's going to save the world, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be the renewable energy source of the future. And it's bullshit. Um, it, it's just, it's not going to, I'm, I'm thinking if I do a video on that, I had a look at it last night after everyone tweeted it to me. And I looked at a few things. I took down a few links and notes. Um, and it, 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 it just does not, this is the approach I might, I was thinking I might take if I did a video on it, is that I would simply get the data, get data wherever possible to, you know, how much energy this can produce and simply compare it, what amount of solar panels on the roof of the building or whatever it's in or wherever would produce the same amount of energy and store it in a bag. Because this one, Pave Gen, I believe, stores it as well. Um, well, it has to, you know, you can't just rely on people's feet and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's too intermittent. So it stores it in a, in a battery storage bank, right? I don't know if it's per tile or whether or not there's a central thing. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But the amount, I think I was just going to compare it simply with the amount of solar panels. And you'll probably find that a whole dance floor, or I found some data for a dance floor, right, of, of, renew, of these generating tiles, right? And um, I was going to redo the calcs and everything uh, to verify. and But it sounded pretty good. And the amount of energy produced is not much. I was going to say, well, how many solar panels do you need? How many rooftop solar panels do you need to produce the same amount of energy? And if it turns out to be two or something like that, then it's bullshit, right? Why would you go to all the effort? And if you've seen the Pave Gen thing, how, like, they've got all these, like, it looks funky, right? It's like... Brilliant engineering's gone in the pave gen, not taking that away from them at all. But if you look at the thing, it's a triangle shaped thing and it's got these huge machined aluminium steel or, or, or whatever, big, you know, machined blocks that the things go into. How much energy goes into producing one of these things, right, compares to go into producing a solar panel, for example, right, which are highly, now highly optimized, cheap, you know, efficient um energy both energy efficient process to produce the solar panel it still requires but the amount of like stuff you've got to put into producing this pave gen is for the small amount of energy like the eight watts per step or something and that's that's what it'll in, that's the instantaneous power that's not the uh that's not the energy you know over time um and it's it, it's just no no it's it, it's niche only always ever will be so yeah i could like, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that would be the result when I go in and do all the proper calculations. I'm pretty sure. 